Hi, today I want to show you something I picked up from my uh, Commodore 64. It's a modern day accessory and it's a fantastic little device. It's called a Tapuino. Now this isn't a brand new thing, it's been around a few years, but it's an open source um, hardware and software device. So it's been iterated upon over the years. This particular version I believe is the tap we know reloaded. I'll put the information as to uh, where you can get the info from for this particular revision in the description. Um, and basically what it is, it's an Arduino uh, based device that emulates one of these. The uh, Commodore data set. So basically it's a very good way to play tape cassette games basically on your Commodore 64. It runs from an SD card and you load tap files onto it. Now if you're not familiar with tap files they are digital files basically that are, have the, the tape data on you know so the analog to digital tape data. This converts that back into what the cassette would normally read and you play it back. Now there is one downside, it does emulate the cassette drive completely so <clears throat> although all games are compatible, all tape games, it also emulates the weight. So if you remember loading games can take a few minutes or several minutes depending on the game and this doesn't help in that matter. So basically once you start running the game, it will take as long as the game would normally take. Let's have a look how it works. So as I said, the device has got a data set uh, connector that connects to the, the, the port on the back of the machine and it basically just plugs in there. It takes all its power from the port, so you don't need to worry about that. This particular one that I've got, I actually bought ready-made. You can um, obviously build these yourself because they are open source. This one I bought from eBay and it came with that nice 3D printed case. So I had to do basically nothing. Right, so the device itself, as I said, plugs into the back there. When you turn the machine on, you get your, your settings there. You've got play mode, record. You can also um, record games back onto it or anything you know like if you write your own programs so you can use that you just basically use it as a tape drive replacement and there are other options which I don't know but keep it on the play mode so then that's your file browser toggles through those you can click on there And you can toggle through the different, I've put everything in different um, to make it easier because there's so many games you can put on here. I've got an 8 gigabyte S, mini S, um, micro SD card so I can fit about pretty much every Commodore 64 game. So I've got them in alphabetical directories. So let's load something up. What should we load up? Um, Let's see what's in here. If I could. Right, so say we wanted to load Future Night from 1986 Gremlin Games. Gremlin Graphics. Right, so that shows you the actual title of the game. So you load the game as normal. So in this case, Oh, press play on tape. Then you should see on here. If I 
press this button it should start loading it you can see a percentage sign there and if you look at the monitor the game is now loading up we're going to find it, here we go, found future night There we go, so the game is loading. The percentage indicator sh show is very good because it can show you exactly how much of the, uh, how much of the game is, has been loaded up. As you can see there, we're on 14%. And now we've got some screen activity, it's changed color. The game is loading. There we go. Turn that down a little bit. And the game is fully loaded. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, fantastic. Well, there you go. That's the tap we know. Now, I definitely recommend this to anybody who's just like me, just starting out with a Commodore 64, because especially if you're from Europe and UK, because we we were used to games on tape, so you know it's a fantastic replacement for the cassette drive because they are wearing out. You know they require more maintenance, and then you obviously have to have things on cassette. You know I do like to collect games on cassette, but I'd rather collect them and keep them than keep wearing them out in the machine so this is ideal it's fully compatible plugs in the back it'll play anything that was basically available on tape will work with this now there are other options uh, which i may or may not in the future pick up there's a device called an sd2iec i believe which is the disk drive replacement um, it's like emulates the disk drive to a certain extent the 1541 uh, commodore disk drive uh, the problem with that is it isn't 100%, as far as I know, compatible with all disc-based games because the 1541 drive itself is um, practically another computer in itself. It has a lot of chips and stuff inside it, uh, which help with the loading and other things that I probably over my head. So, as far as I know, not everything's compatible. You can get some cartridges to complement the, the SD to IEC to uh, load the games quicker, uh, which also works with the, the actual disk drive. So, you know, that's one advantage is you can get the games loaded quicker, but it doesn't really bother me too much. It's part of the nostalgia is to wait 10 minutes for a game to load sometimes. So, yeah, and definitely cost effective, you know, like I said, I'm on a budget, so I haven't got hundreds of pounds to spend on, on these on these systems. So I'm doing it as I can. And this, as I said, it costs me all completely made with this quite really sturdy 3D printed case. Cost me, 20, I think about 28 pounds delivered. So I can't complain. You know, I supplied my own SD card. You know, as I said, it's an eight gigabyte SD card. so. There's more than enough space on there for for all of that. Plus, because it, it also it's also compatible with Commodore 16 plus four Vic 20 games. If I and when I eventually get those systems, I can use the same device, switch it over to um, Commodore 16 mode, and load games via this as well. So it's ideal. It's a very good investment. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, my little review of the Tapuino. Like I said, if you haven't got one and you haven't got one of the other um, solutions, definitely consider it. It's really, really good. Really good value for money, I think. Okay. Well, if you have any comments or any suggestions or criticisms, <laughs> please put them in the comments. Um, I'd love it if you shared my channel, uh, liked and subscribed to it. As I am quite a mini school channel, I've only got a handful of subscribers really, and I'm trying to to get the, the channel up and running. It's a very new channel, 
as well as these reviews, I also do game reviews and, and more sort of creative content uh, like that. So yeah, please help me out. Um, if you are that way inclined, I do have a Patreon page as well. So if you want to become uh, one of my patrons to help support the channel, the money would go towards getting these sort of things, buying uh, systems and games that I can review and modify that sort of stuff. And also I have social media. So I'm on uh, Twitter, um, I'm on Instagram. And I'm also, I also have a Facebook page for the channel. So if you want to uh, comment on there as well, by all means, and grow a bit of a community on there, that would be ideal. Right, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.